before we start the tutorial, let me show you first my merks. I have an online store in the spring shirt and this spring known as spring where you can buy various apparels and drinkwares that most of them I designed it myself. Link on my store are provided in the description below so you can check it out. So here is one of my online store in spring. You can choose different products with different designs. You even have the options to choose which product you like most. In this store, I design mostly for some version only. And on my spreadsheet store, I mostly design retro and vintage only. If you want to see more products, you can scroll it down and click the load more for more interesting designs and exciting products. If you want to surprise your loved ones with gifts, this might be a good option. So guys, if you want to buy one of these products, it means a lot to me because it helps maintaining my channel. So thank you guys. And now I will show you what we are going to be making today. Hello guys, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I will start by creating a new composition and I will name it placeholder 1. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 6 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to the project panel, make sure that this is highlighted. Go to edit, click edit. Then highlight the placeholder 2. Double click your mouse to open it up. Open Project asset, open image folder, drop down this image to into the timeline. Press this on your keyboard to scale it down. Then go to placeholder one, open it up, and drop this image one into the timeline. Press this on your keyboard to scale it down. Now go to your commission, create a new commission, name it text. I will change the width here to 1000. Height 200. Same frame rate 30. Duration is 6 seconds. Click OK. Zoom it in. Grab the text tool. Type scratch texture. Center it horizontally. Change the font size to 100. Then change the font to piece of flesh, baby regular. Drop it down a bit. Then center it horizontally. Grab your text tool again and type parallax effect light show. Center it horizontally and change the font size here to 60. Change the font to Franklin Gothic Book. Go back to the scratch texture. Change the color of the font, probably white. That's good enough. Make sure that this is aligned horizontally. Now go to Convolution, create a new Convolution, name it Scratch. Now I will change the video to 1920, 1080p. Frame rate is 30 and the uh, duration is 6 seconds. Click OK. 
zoom it out a bit I'll just drag this outside of the image folder then I will highlight this scratch branch drag it down into the timeline enable the 3d layer press P on your keyboard position then change the position to negative 500 then press R for the rotation I'll just rotate it to negative 62 press S for the scale I'll just scale it down just enough to cover the canvas then I will highlight the scratch branch go to edit and duplicate it click P on your keyboard for the position and I will change the Z position to negative 1850 I will highlight this scratch branch again go to edit duplicate it press p on your keyboard for the position then change the z position to negative 2000 press r on your keyboard for the rotation change the rotation here to 1070 then i will highlight this scratch branch press r on my keyboard for the rotation i will change the z rotation here to zero now i will go to layer create new camera and I'm using 50mm preset camera. Enable the depth of field. Click OK. Expand this camera. Go to camera options and change the aperture to 150. Close it. Then go to composition. Create a new composition. Name it media. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 6 seconds duration. Click OK. Now I will highlight this texture control, drag it down here to create composition. Then I will delete this composition. Then highlight this placeholder one, drop it down into the timeline. Now enable the 3D layer. Now go to layer, create a new camera. I'm using again 50mm preset camera. I will enable the type of fill. Click OK. Open the camera options. I will change the focus distance here to 5000. Highlight placeholder 1. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position here to 5000. As you can see, it's so small. So press again S on your keyboard. To scale it up, highlight the camera, expand it. Now create a frame on the point of interest, position, and the rotation. Move your layer at the end of the timeline. Change the rotation here to probably negative 8. Then go to this means the Dolly Towers cursor. Then drag your cursor up. I think that is good enough. Now let's play it. Let's see. So this is what we got. Then go to your project panel and drop down this scratch into the timeline and also this lectures intro. Enable the 3D camera. Now open this pictures intro. Highlight this layer. Hold composition. Change the duration to 6 seconds. Click OK. Go to layer. Enable time remap. Extend this layer to the end of your timeline. Also the keyframe. Then go back to the media. Extend this layer up to the end of the timeline. Then change the blending mode here to screen. Make sure that this Lexus intro is highlighted and press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the Z position to 2000. Press S on your keyboard for the scale. Just scale it up. Highlight the Lexus intro. Go to edit. Duplicate it. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Change the position to negative 500. Press the new keyboard to scale. 
Jesus Kill it now. Go back to camera. Camera options. So in the aperture, if you will increase it a bit, you can see that the scratch we have is blurry, which is it created a more interesting depth. But the problem is the image is affected. We don't want it, that's why we have to put it back to 25.3. Close it. Open the scratch, open the camera option. That's why the aperture here I created mounting to 150 so that the scratch will be blurry so it created more depth on our scene and it doesn't affect the image we have so we will go back to media what we have to do is to enable the transformation switch so as you can see here the image is still normal okay highlight these dust particles drag it here to create a composition now i will highlight this media right click my mouse to rename it i will name it dust delete this composition go to media drop this dust down into the timeline drag this pencil edge i will change the blending mode here to screen then the light i will also drag it here to create a composition delete this composition Go back to media and drop down this light leak into the timeline. Change the blending mode here to screen. Now we will play this one. Let's see. Nice. So there you go. So now I'm gonna create a new folder and I will name it scene one. Create another folder and I will name it common comps. Those compositions that I'm not gonna tweak, I will put it here on this folder. Now I'm going to create another folder, I will name it scene 2. I will highlight the media placeholder one, drag it into the scene 1 folder and also the scratch. Then highlight all of these compositions, go to edit and duplicate it. Then I will drag these duplicated compositions to the scene 2 folder. Then double click my mouse to open it up. Close the scene 1, go to media 2. By clicking out and hold it, change the placeholder 1 to the placeholder 2. Drag this placeholder 2 into the scene 2 folder. Scratch, change this to scratch 2. Then double click your mouse to open it up. Highlight the scratch branch below. Press R on your keyboard for the rotation. Change the Z rotation. Highlight the scratch branch above. Press R on your keyboard for the rotation. Change the Z rotation 120. Then delete this composition. Open media to preview this. Let's see. Nice. Eh? So now I will go to composition the new composition i will name it main 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 6 seconds duration click ok then i will open the scene on folder grab this media and drop it down into the timeline and also the media too drop it down into the timeline go to composition composition settings just change the duration here to 12. Click OK. Move this layer like this and let's preview this. Now 
Now we'll go back to the media one. Click on the common comps. Drop this text into the timeline. Enable the 3D layer. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Just change the Z position here to 1000. Go back to the main and let's preview this again. So guys we are done with our tutorial don't forget to visit my store if you like this video please like if you haven't yet subscribe my channel subscribe comment and press the notification bell so you will be updated to all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the future my thoughts for today guys that improve yourself by always learning every day i hope that you enjoy this video and thank you very much see you next time and god bless